All right, let's Ready? go ahead and get this thing started. All right, your time starts now. Great, thank you. Yes, sir. I think that dude in the background is as skeptical as I am about whether or not I'm gonna be able to finish this challenge. <laughs> So what the heck is this in front of me? Well, I've been spending the last couple of days in Fort Worth, Texas, and on a whim, I decided to check out if there were any cool uh, food challenges, eating challenges around, and I spotted the Old South Pancake House, and man, am I really glad that I did. I am here for their challenge, which is six one pound of pancakes, all stacked on top of each other. They are so delicious. So without any more stall, let's get this thing started and see how I'm able to stack up against this pancake stack. <laughs> Alright guys, first of all, I do want to remind you that this is a pretty small fledgling channel. So if you do like this kind of content, if you could scroll down and hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out. Now I'm getting to this challenge in itself. Now you guys know me, I love my carbs, I love my bread, I can eat this kind of thing all day. I gotta say though, pancakes, they're pretty tough because they expand in the stomach. This is a six pound challenge, roughly six pounds, and uh, it really does fill up the stomach very quickly. Like. It's six pounds of pancake is more difficult than six pounds of a lot of other kinds of food. <laughs> Not just because it's all carbs, but you know, because it really fills up the stomach very quickly. So going into this challenge, I gotta say, not only was the food really great, but everybody at the restaurant was really cool too. Uh, they were super warm and welcoming. The time that I've spent in Texas has been incredible. I mean, the people here are just amazing. They're awesome. Everyone's so gracious, everyone's so gregarious and happy to uh, be a part of uh, the shenanigans that I do. I mean, everyone's just super nice, super nice and polite. So if you ever do get a chance to uh, go down to Texas, like it is, it is a really cool place to visit, for sure. <laughs> See, I'm opening up the, these tiny little packets of butter that they gave me. When they brought out the uh, uh, stack of pancakes, all they had was like vegetable shortening on the table and I'm not really a big fan of that. So I asked them if they had any butter that uh, I could have. And they brought out this bowl of like wee tiny little butter packets and they were all super cold and frozen. So, you know, I'm sticking them uh, between the pancakes, trying to get them to melt a little bit, uh, give myself a little bit of butter. A bit of a transition there. I just wanted to readjust the uh, camera. Get a nice shot of uh, some syrup dripping down off those pancakes. Ooh, that stuff looks so dang good. I mean, don't these pancakes just look incredibly delicious to you guys? They're so good. And I gotta say, props to the chefs who were able to put out six pancakes this giant without letting any of them get overcooked or letting any of them come out like undercooked and raw in the middle. No. Like, the chefs did an incredible job with this. They came out piping hot, nice and fluffy, that golden brown on the outside. Oh, it's so good. Hmm, now a lot of people might wonder why the heck I'm adding more carbs on top of this by drowning in syrup. And uh, it's because I really like syrup, so <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> I like sweet stuff. So like I said, the staff of the restaurant was really incredible. Uh, about halfway through, oh, there we go. I'm holding up a watch to the cameras to make sure that it's synced up with the uh, timer on screen that you guys can watch. Anyway, the wait staff, super cool. Um, when I came in and ordered uh, this restaurant challenge, you know, I think that they thought that I was just kind of like a regular Joe at first. Like I thought that. And then after the pancakes came out, my, my uh, server stopped and asked if she had seen me before. She's like, I think I recognize you. Are you on YouTube? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. You might've seen me on YouTube once or twice. 
and it turns out that uh, her and her grandson really love watching uh, eating challenges and uh, competitive eating on YouTube, so I assume that they spotted me somewhere along the way. So it's, it's pretty cool to be noticed and recognized in public like that every now and then. <laughs> There was my incredible server off to get me just a little bit more milk because uh, milk it is the perfect accompaniment to a giant pile of stand uh, pancakes. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually talk through the rest of this video. Yeah. The server was wonderful. I, I gotta say, I loved the, uh, the atmosphere of the place. Uh, now these guys don't just serve breakfast, they also serve some kind of dinner fares. They serve a whole host of pies, including a couple of desperation pies which is a new term that I've learned, uh, desperation pie. Those are like pies made with super cheap ingredients, tend to be kind of like custardy pies. Uh, they had one called a buttermilk pie, which was really delicious in my opinion. I looked up some recipes, so I think that's one that I gotta try to make at home uh, one of these days. Now for folks that don't know, uh, one of my parents did grow up, uh, both my parents actually did grow up quite a bit in the South. My father a little bit less so, but my mother was, you know, like, born and raised in Louisiana and Texas, all those southern states. So, I am part redneck. So this kind of stuff is really, I, I love southern food, I love southern people, I kind of fit in. And anytime I go to the south, I do kind of like fall back into those habits of, that I've picked up from hanging out with uh, my extended family on my mother's side. It's always fun to be a little bit of a redneck every now and then. I gotta stay nice and tidy. Can't let these uh, utensils get too dirty. Here we are coming into the last couple of uh, pancakes. Now at this point, like I, you've probably noticed that I've slowed down quite a bit and that's because I'm getting pretty dang full at this point in the challenge. I'm trying to think about like balancing the amount of uh, milk that I'm drinking, the amount of syrup that I'm using to soften up the food to make it easier to eat, while also not filling up my uh, stomach too much. So shout out to Derek, the manager. He was there like overseeing the challenge, making sure that uh, everything was going down legit. And he did a great job. Like, I loved the energy that that guy brought to it. He shouted out to the restaurant that, hey, we got a competitive eater here doing his thing. Like, you know, wish him luck. Hopefully he can finish. And I mean, yeah, he did a great job. Pretty close. Yeah. Oh, you can do it. I've been looking at your YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I just figured it out. <laughs> looking me up? <laughs> yeah. They're getting your shirts ready and all that. Excellent. We got faith in you. Oh, thank you. The first time I've ever seen anybody finish. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure. They're delicious thank waffles. They're our pancakes. Yeah, they're not waffles. They're pancakes, idiot. So I didn't set this up at all. These guys just found out who I was and looked me up on YouTube. And you know, they got to know me. They realized that I was Steve the Rabbit, that I was definitely gonna crush this thing. So they did have faith in me, which was pretty cool. Looks like you're definitely gonna have a real problem. When you, fin when you finish, can we promote your YouTube channel for you with everybody? Absolutely. Yes, I also. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks, <laughs> Yeah,
Guys, update on Steve over here doing our pancake challenge. Probably the best we've ever seen. Uh, he's going to finish in no time at all. Uh, if y'all'd like to know, Steve goes all around the country doing these uh, food challenges. So it's Steve the Rabbit on his YouTube channel. Steve the Rabbit on YouTube. All right. Thank you. Yeah, there was Derek giving me a shout out. I gotta say, he had so much energy. I loved him. It was great to uh, have a guy like that. I mean, I should hire that man as my hype man, seriously. Like I said, I didn't set that up at all. They just found out who I was and started talking about me in the restaurant. So thanks a whole lot for uh, everybody at Old South Pancake House who made it possible. I mean, the food was great. The wait staff was even better. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you at the next one. I got 23 minutes. I guess 20. I guess 20. Excellent. It's my pleasure. <laughs> First dinner's on the house. Got a nice t-shirt for you, my friend. Oh my goodness. There we go. Is it the right size? I got a medium. Will that work for you? Or I can give you an extra large. I'm out of larges. <laughs> I get that all.